When Albert Einstein was once asked whether he believed in God, his response surprised many. I believe in Spinoza's God who reveals himself in the orderly harmony of existence, not in a God who concerns himself with the fates and actions of men. With this, Einstein aligned himself with the 17th century philosopher Baruch Spinoza, 1632-1677, whose radical vision redefined God not as a personal being outside the cosmos, but as the very substance of existence itself. For both Spinoza and Einstein, the deepest experience of divinity was not in miracles or dogma, but in the harmony of natural law, the rational, ordered beauty of the universe. This video explores their connection, showing how consciousness, reason and awe converge in the vision of God as the infinite order underlying reality. Baruch Spinoza, a Dutch philosopher of Sephardic Jewish descent, was excommunicated from his synagogue for teachings that defied traditional views. His masterpiece, Ethics, presented a bold thesis, God is not separate from the world, but identical with it. In his system, God is the one infinite substance of which everything else is a mode. This meant that every star, every mind, every event is an expression of divine reality. God is not a ruler who intervenes in history, but the eternal order of existence itself. For Spinoza, to know God was to understand the laws of nature and to align one's consciousness with the rational structure of the cosmos. Einstein, centuries later, found in Spinoza a kindred spirit. While rejecting traditional religion, he was far from an atheist. He spoke often of his sense of awe at the orderly harmony of the cosmos. For him, the mystery of why the universe is comprehensible at all pointed to something sacred. The God he believed in was not personal but rational, a divine intelligence expressed in the mathematical laws of physics. When he discovered relativity, or when he marveled at the elegance of equations, Einstein felt he was touching the divine. His alignment with Spinoza reveals a shared conviction that consciousness finds its highest fulfillment not in worshipping a distant deity, but in contemplating the order that pervades reality. For both Spinoza and Einstein, harmony was the key to understanding God. Spinoza saw harmony in the rational structure of substance and its attributes. Einstein saw it in the precise equations governing space, time, and energy. Neither reduced the universe to blind chance. Instead, they believed the cosmos reveals an intelligible order that inspires reverence. Spinoza argued that freedom comes not from defying necessity, but from understanding it. Einstein similarly declared that freedom is found in grasping the causal structure of reality. In both views, the human mind participates in cosmic order, reflecting the harmony of divine consciousness through reason and insight. Spinoza taught that human consciousness is one expression of God's infinite attribute of thought. Each mind is a finite perspective of the eternal intellect. To think rationally is to participate in the divine order. Einstein echoed this sentiment when he said, The most incomprehensible thing about the universe is that it is comprehensible. Consciousness, in this light, is not an accident of biology, but a window into the rational harmony of being. For both thinkers, the ability to perceive order, to formulate laws and to feel awe at the cosmos is itself evidence of our embeddedness in divine reality. A key point uniting Spinoza and Einstein is their rejection of a God who intervenes in nature or human affairs. For Spinoza, such a view diminishes God by imagining him as finite, subject to whims. Instead, God is the eternal substance whose nature is necessity itself. For Einstein, miracles violated the very laws that reveal the divine. He saw prayer for intervention as misguided. The true religious feeling, he argued, is awe at the rational order of creation. In both perspectives, God does not break the laws of nature, but is the very source and expression of those laws. 
consciousness reaches its highest piety, not in asking God to act but in aligning with the harmony that always already exists. Spinoza believed that by understanding necessity, we achieve freedom, no longer enslaved by passions but guided by reason. This leads to peace of mind, love of God, and harmony with others. Einstein, while not a moral philosopher, shared the conviction that recognizing universal order leads to humility and compassion. He saw nationalism, egoism, and violence as distortions of humanity's relationship to cosmic harmony. For both men, the ethical life arises from understanding one's place in the whole. Spinoza called this amor dei intellectualis, the intellectual love of God. Einstein described it as a cosmic religious feeling, a reverence that binds science and spirituality into one. The resonance between Spinoza and Einstein continues to inspire seekers of truth who long for a vision of God that honors both reason and awe. Spinoza's God of infinite substance and Einstein's God of cosmic order are two voices describing the same reality, a universe pervaded by intelligibility, beauty, and necessity. This God is not above nature but within it, not dictating events but unfolding as harmony itself. For those who embrace this vision, consciousness becomes a temple of divine reflection, a place where reason and wonder meet. Spinoza and Einstein remind us that the path to God is not escape from the world, but deeper immersion into its order, its laws, and its radiant harmony. Together, Spinoza and Einstein illuminate a God who is neither personal nor absent, but present as the rational order of existence. For Spinoza, this God is the infinite substance in which all things live. For Einstein, it is the harmony of laws that make the universe intelligible. Both refused superstition, yet both were profoundly reverent. Their shared vision reveals that consciousness, in contemplating the harmony of the cosmos, touches the divine itself. To live in alignment with this God is to awaken to the truth that the universe is not chaos, but music, not accident, but order. The eternal harmony of existence, revealing the presence of God. If you liked this video, remember to check out the description below we have curated and recommended literature for you to explore more on this topic. Please, never stop learning and going deeper. Thanks for watching, liking and subscribing. Your support means the world to us to keep creating these videos. Please share your thoughts in the comments we will be reading.